bit of a glare. We're finally getting into some top water with the Epic Bait Molds, Marlin Baits collaboration molds. I actually made a master of this and sent it to him out of wood, carved it. It's got holes in the upper legs, hopefully to make some bubble trails. It's got inward facing paddled feet, nice and thin. We kept the plastic thin towards the end of the feet. We're going for lots of movement on the feet, consistent movement, even on slow retrieves. You can creep this thing along and still have very, very flappy paddly feet on the back. That's the goal. Or that was the design. Have not shot one. Should probably turn those fans off. Have not shot one yet. Coming right up. How big is this thing? Four inches. Four inch frog. I am ready. Extremely ready. For some top water action today. Get that evening top water bite. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a remelt kind of day too. Let's start with a solid color. This is a color shift with some chartreuse flake in it. Solid, solid, solid color for a frog, if that makes any sense. Two minutes, 360, let's shoot it. That was one heat up, that worked out perfect. Here we go. First shot with the frog. I don't have a name for this. As is tradition, I don't know what I'm calling this bait. Felt like a solid shot though. Always construction. The first frog of one solid color is ready for demold. Here we go. Whoo! That is the bottom. It's a flat bottom frog. Man, those holes in the legs turned out perfect. Yeah. And then all the detail and texture and stuff that's on the top. Absolutely spiffy. I need to find a hook that I'm using for this. So I got some 3 aught Gamakatsu offset EWG hooks, you know? Keeps everything nice and light too. Pretty sure it keeps this frog floating. I think 4 aught would be better, but that'll work just fine. Lots of collapsibility. I, I wanna see how a 4 aught beast hook works too if I want it to sink and actually fish this on the bottom or just in the middle of the water, but that looks good. The side with the bolts. So I gotta turn this music down. The side of this mold with the bolts. That's the top of the frog. I got plastic hot right now. Just about to do a laminate here. Glove. Um, brown on the bottom. No, brown on the top. Here we go, first laminate with the frog. It felt weird. It's such a big injector, it doesn't even feel like I'm shooting plastic into the mold, but I did. It probably turned out great. First unveiling of a laminated frog. Lots of brown. I hope the other side is a lot of greenish, bluish, whatever this color is. Yes. Yes, green, brown, it laminated, wow. Got a little funky down here, but my plastics weren't exactly the same temperature. That is acceptable, and you can see thinner parts on the legs, you can see both colors. You need to see this through the sun here. Look at that. It's kind of an ugly color, but it laminates. Let's make some prettier ones than this. Green and poop brown. <laughs> okay, top. So I gotta flip this thing around. That was like a really dark green with a chartreuse belly. Gonna be good. Oh! That's a good one. That's very froggy. That is doing it for me, I tell you what. Such a classy, just simple but looks effective. We'll find out if it is. I'm gonna shoot more of these, get my arsenal up. We'll go out, spend the rest of the day, get some fish, top water.
an entire day designated to the top water fishing. Nothing wrong with that. Actually, one more thing I think I should show you the color here. You guys see those very large black flakes? There's already those in there, but I'm gonna add red, uh, 1 8 inch flake, and gold to this. This should be looking crazy. I'm gonna get this hot again. I'm gonna vacuum it, and then we're gonna shoot it. You need to vacuum that because you want clarity in the plastic and just see the large flakes. It'll be interesting to see if any of the large flakes get to the feet too. Oh man, that looks really good. Okay, I need, I need to shoot this instead of try to show it to you, but this looks real good. Let it be known. Looks good. I hope I got some flake in that. I accidentally held the nozzle on the bottom of the cup, which can block flake. Oh, there's plenty. I see plenty. Don't splash your hot plastic. Tip of the video, don't splash your hot plastic. By the way, that is how a 4 aught beast hook looks on one of these. I mean, lots of collapsibility there. Maybe too much, but this will get it to sink. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is bonkers. Crazy. At the pond. This pond happens to have a lot of moss covering the surface. More than normal. Which is good for me because I want to throw this frog in some moss and some weeds and stuff, you know? This might get intense. Top water action coming your way. Be ready. Here we go. First cast with the frog. Oh, I, it hit the water and I got a hit. It was a small bass. Oh, those feet go crazy too. Oh man, this is getting exciting right off the bat. Boom. Oh shoot, I thought that was a fish on. Shoot. Two casts and two fish hit it. I'm just being dumb and missing them. Let's try to stop being dumb here. Yeah, those feet kick. They're schmacking. Man, looking good. Got one. Fish on. It's a decent one. Big weight came up behind, behind the frog. And it was this guy. Get on the bank. Woo! Nice, decent, chunky bass. On the frog. How much do you weigh? You feel kind of chunky. He weighs. 2.1. That's a good first fish for the frog, two pounder. Not a complete dink, you know. Top water's fun. We're just having a fun time, guys. This is just, this is just great. <laughs> that was right out in the middle, too. Note taken. Well, this is looking a little better. Let's slide this little frog in front of some bass's faces. There we go. Dang it, fish off. <laughs> Set the hook and yell, fish off. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a bass. Oh, shoot. As I was stepping down, Dang it. We'll get one here. There we go. 
set the hook on that one. Come here. It's official again. Kind of dinky. Yeah, kind of dinky. Be free. Got him. It's a small one. That's what the beast took though. First bite I've gotten with the beast took set the hook on this little dink and I was able to hook him up. I love these beast hooks. And a four aught fits perfect. Top water. Sorry you could not see that from my perspective, but I'm all out of battery, so. Ooh! There's one following. There's a wiper following my bait. You see that? Oh yeah. They got the bright fins. Welcome back to the OG shop that I'm moving out of in 12 days. The Epic Ribbit. The Epic Ribbit. The Epic Ribbit. That's the name I came up with for this bait. I'm a shameless person, okay? I don't care. I like that name. The Epic Ribbit. Excuse me, The Epic Ribbit. I'm not flipping you off, I'm just trying to show you my injury. There's nothing to show because there's a Band-Aid over it, but you believe I did that on a beer bottle? I was opening a beer bottle with a butter knife. The butter knife got under the lip of it. Off came the glass that the cap is holding on to. And then down comes my finger and just a chunk of my finger was left on a beer bottle that I broke the cap off of. And that was my first one I had. I hadn't drinking any yet. I did that completely sober. Anyway, I like giving you guys injury updates. How did the lure do? Very well. When I was fishing that bait, blue skies, slightly windy, sun just beating down on the surface of the water. It's not very conducive for fish to be coming to the surface and looking to feed, but that, that bait was pulling them to the surface. I got a lot of hits. I was missing them more with the Gamakatsu 3 aught or no, actually, I didn't even show it in the video. I went out and got some 4 out. I was missing them more with the Gamakatsu 4 out EWG hooks than I was with the Beast Hook. I was hooking up to them better with a Beast Hook. That was a weighted Beast Hook, though, and it made the bait sink. You can get unweighted Beast Hooks. I think it would still make the bait sink. It would sink less fast, though. I'm giving you guys a lot of information right now. But I'm, I'm probably, from now on, going to be fishing those frogs with 4 out Beast Hooks. Preference, you know? I don't think I'm... Uh, up on my game either when it comes to knowing how to set the hook right with a frog bait but you live and you learn i learned a little bit yesterday use a beast hook that's what i learned 100 bucks each go get your mold you like shooting soft plastics guy had the same color truck as me okay. anyway you like shooting soft plastics uh you need a top water bait Dare I say, this is the best. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all preference. But it helps support my channel too and what I do, so get into soft plastics. It's fun. It's extremely fun. Coming up with the colors, making things work and look good, going out and catching a fish on a bait that you shot or you poured. It's good stuff. That's what this channel's about, so that's just what it's all about, guys. Any more updates? I feel like I need to be giving you guys updates on what's going what's going on in my life. This is how the shop looks. Shelves and benches and things I still need to pack scattered everywhere. I'm gonna have a table saw to move. I'm gonna have a 300 pound bench to move right here. I got four workbenches over here. I got one that you guys are sitting on right here. I got my painting station bench, my drill press. I got my weight rack up there. I used to have that out in the old videos, remember? You know, there's some, there's some heavy stuff here, but it's not too bad. I'm gonna have a few other guys helping me too, so. But the move should be pretty easy. I live pretty minimally. Right now I live inside of a less than 700 square foot house with very, very few possessions. So the move's not gonna be hard. There's more stuff out here than in my house. So from today, I'm gonna be waiting 12 more days to move into the new place. Just vibe out there, you know? Just vibe out there. 
So there you go. There's my life update. Video's over. Get yourself an epic rivet. On to the next bait. Um, it probably turned out great. Oh. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Felt weird. By the way, I'm not flipping you off. This might get intense. 